Hey, it's been marinating all night. Look at that. Soaking up all them juices. And then this one. Soaking up all them juices. So, yeah. How I do it, I get the charcoal going. And then when they, those get all ready, then we're going to put some wood on there. I'll show you that wood I'm putting on. The, uh, I got mesquite. It's like logs. You can put in there smoking. That's what they look like. Get all different sizes. Pieces in here. Big pieces, small pieces. So that's what I got. You get some smoking chips or all those little smoker boxes you can put the chips in. You can also put it on top of there. But I just get this. You can cut this up smaller if you like. But I just put that on there and then you can just rotate it. But it'll smoke. My grill, I need it. Maybe I'll do a video on the refurbishing this bad boy. But that's the side smoker. You just put all your wood and smoke in there. And it comes up. And so the smoke comes into here. And it goes out. So you just lay your meat on across right here. Across the top right there. I try not to go this far over because the, uh, there's too much heat right there. So it kind of cooks it more. So. So we'll just wait some more time, then we'll, when the coals are done, then we'll put the meat on there. So it's all heated up, and this, I put a piece of a log on there, so it's now smoking. And now it's, it was hot in here, so it's scraping this off a little bit, get it all cleaned off. Same with these top ones, we'll get some, put some meat up on top of there too. Okay, so I got the, it all spread out. They seem not to let them touch, but... They're gonna shrink up so they'll not touch if there's any touching. And then some people pat them dry. I guess you're supposed to do that. I never do. I just, this is the way I do it, and that's how I've always done it. So but I don't wanna mess with it. So let's put it on there and let that bad boy fill up with smoke. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And then you adjust your thing how you want the smoke. And same with the other end. Then we'll just come back every 15 minutes or so and check on the wood and check on how these are drying. We'll get back to that. Alright, we out here checking on the meat. So it's drying out. It's all drying out. It probably does take longer doing it that way, but whatever. So this is what it looks like when you got the your wood on there and you can let it smoke you roll it or whatever but it'll smoke up and it'll fill that whole thing up with smoke if I just turn that it's on fire now but then when you shut the lid it'll fill up with smoke and the uh, flames will go out but the temperature should be about one one something I'll look it up what the temperature should be when it's uh, smoking just gonna throw another log on there because it's uh, getting used up. It's one piece. More. Checking on the meat. It's got some that's kind of pretty much ready, so we'll just flip them over. Flip everything over. A couple more hours or hours or so. You can tell that it's still kind of floppy, so. But like this piece is getting pretty good. Almost ready. These ones are good. Pretty much ready almost because these are a little bit thicker. Those ones. So we'll flip all these over and then. See that? These will take a little bit longer because they're a lot thicker pieces. So probably a couple more hours. Just make sure you get it at 165. 165 degrees and then for hot smoking that's what this is called that's what I usually do so. all right we'll get back to you all right we're checking on the meat They're looking pretty good yep it's getting there almost there some of these are pretty good these are pretty pretty done this one this one's done for sure 
Uh, yeah, so just check them out when they get to looking like that. These ones down here need more time. So they're a lot thicker. But yeah. Just keep on checking them. And then you find the ones that are they're done. Then you take them out and see they're pretty much done. Let's check on it. Turkey. They're looking pretty good. Some of them are done, so I just put them off to the side right here. Yeah, these are getting there. Yeah, this one's pretty much getting done. That's how they're going to be looking. So, yeah. We'll get those, uh... Check them out. All the ones that are pretty much done, I'll just put them off to the side right here. And you can check them a little bit later. This one's pretty much done. Yeah. That's it, man. So we'll get them uh, all done. We'll do, and then we'll do some more uh, info for you. Okay, have you seen there? The, um, we're pretty much done with the jerky. That should be looking pretty much like this. And um, you could uh, put it in a little bit longer, dry it out more, but some of them you can leave in there more tender because uh, they're going to be eaten up real quick anyways but yeah so pretty much that's it and i'll throw some pictures in here after uh, also uh just just give it a try man like you could use whatever kind of wood you want you can there's other ways of doing the the um jerky different flavors and different methods you could also do it in the oven i heard of people doing the oven you just prop the door open but you could look that up and google how to do that and also um, flavorings you can use which pretty much every flavor you want you just look those up a recipe of flavors that you like uh, experiment with a little batch and see how you like it but yeah pretty much good with that the yummy goodness beef jerky Alright, thanks for watching.